All right. So, Premier League. This was game week. Let me see. How many games have you played? We have played seven, seven games. This seven. was this was game week seven. Uh, we're gonna go systematically. It obviously started with Liverpool's one nil. Win against Crystal Palace, tight game. Let's go through the tweets. Tweet number one is Liverpool won Crystal Palace nil. Arne Slot is officially now had the best ever start to a Premier League career for any manager. Title challenge, right? Have enough? I really want to say so. I really wish so, but again, I think it's too early to call it. I mean, again, if you look at the games that we have played so far, uh, we've had some good fortune. We've had some easy opposition. We've had some decisions go our way. I'll gladly take all of those eighteen points with both of my hands, but right now, I think. It's just too early to say anything. If you look at the list of fixtures that we have after the next international break, Chelsea, Arsenal, Leverkusen, you know, all of these things piling up, then we'll see exactly where we land. But again, this only proves just to prove that Anis Lott actually has his basics right. He has a style of play. He can survive in Premier League. He'll definitely finish top four. But beyond that, I cannot make any commitment, even though I wish nothing more than him winning the Premier League for us. But at this point of time, I'm too cagey. Are you happy with the, the choice Liverpool made now that it looks like like he's he's a good replacement for Klopp? Yeah, yeah. I mean, again, I'll just like I didn't know who Arnes Lott was in February of last you know, this year. I didn't, or even March, right? I think everyone was like Xavi Alonso and the other guy uh, from from Porto. So we were just talking about those names, but Arnes Lott kind of came out of nowhere. And the more I read about him, the more I understood his tactics and how close he was and how attached he was to the club in, in Feyenoord and how his supporters kind of actually worshipped him sort of and then I'm like okay he can just fit in well with Liverpool and I think that's exactly what he's done the most amazing aspect is his style of play I think we have a good for good formation static I mean, he knows how to use tactics how to win how to use the players that he has the players who didn't do well under Klopp they are kind of reborn right now with Graven Birch and everyone so I think so far it looks like a good choice but the real test is yet to come alright awesome second tweet is uh, Jota make things happen he's directly involved in 13 goals in the last 14 start is he a starter now or uh, is there still confusion oh yeah yeah he's a starter i mean i mean given the ch- given the fact that the next option is nunes i mean he definitely is a starter joda so the- yeah, I think, uh, I mean, only thing is his injury record. He gets injured way too often for a, st- for a starting Premier League striker. But if he stays fit, uh, he does well in the build-up play. He is a, he's a goal scorer, man, out and out. Uh, he also actually misses a couple of chances, but he has been he's been in a good scoring form. He's been assisting as well. He heads out of nowhere. So he's a good, he's a starter for us this season. Uh, known as, as you can see, I think, uh, even though he has had some good rest, even after the international break, he didn't start many games uh, for slot. So I think uh, slot has his formation set with Jota as number 9. Alright, awesome. AJ, going towards you for the next tweet. How important is will this be in the title race? Alisson will probably no. not be available for Arsenal and possibly the week after that against uh, Chelsea as well. Week before that, sorry. Chelsea and Arsenal both. So, what do you think about this? I think it's a ploy. I think uh, it's all dark tactics. I think they were pretty comfortable against Crystal Palace. They knew that they were going to win. They just asked. They just sent like a 17-year-old behind the goalkeeper. Just ask him to go down, come off injured, so that he can miss international duty. And then it'll be fine. Chelsea, Arsenal, rest of the season. I think it's a slam-dunk title favourite tactic that Liverpool are employing. And I'm all for it. Alisson is not going to play till the next international break. Just so, just so you know. I think he has injured I, the same hamstring that he has been suffering a lot. <laughs> he's not going to play till the next international break. He's going to miss Arsenal. He's going to miss Chelsea. He's going to miss, I think, Leverkusen, Brighton, all of these that's games what, coming up. That's what you want us to believe. That's not what is true. <laughs> okay. So, I can, we, I can, we will see what happens against ball. Chelsea. Sorry, Arham. You said something. Uh, uh, I said he won't miss the title winning parade. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll talk in May. He'll, but, be, yeah. he'll be kitted up and be playing against Chelsea for sure. He's I not, have no doubts. In he's mind. not a John Terry to get And probably to... there'll be two Allisons against Arsenal because you'd need them. Let's say this is true. This is this news is true and there is no conspiracy as uh, AJ suggests. Uh, enough, uh, uh, how much of a loss? Oh man, yeah. Definitely. He'll be a huge loss. I mean, he's, he's our number one goalkeeper and I think he's one of the best goalkeepers in the Premier League right now. But I think he's just too injury prone, right? And again, given that he's already contrary to what AJ said, he actually made good couple of saves uh, against Crystal Palace he kind of saved us a lot against United as well so things like that I think we need keepers we need good keepers in those situations like it, because again if you look at last season the reason why we lost against United both times is because we didn't have Allison. Now with Kelleher, he couldn't save all of the things that he had. So having a keeper like Allison really helps, and having a keeper like Allison against Chelsea and Arsenal is 
paramount so i don't know i think we'll see how it goes kelleher is decent enough we'll will play it by the year i guess all right boys i think all i hear is the year is a bit of trying to you know water down the title favorite stack and we don't think there's any excuses i think you have a side big enough you had like four best in the world players in their positions i know one is injured but then you have still three more the best quarterback that there can be in football in trent alexander arnold the best finisher that there can be in uh, mohammed salah so trent alexander best center back Trent has Best two assists. Back, so please, there is the absolutely no reason for you to put down your chances. Has, Trent has two assists in the Premier League. Uh, Salah has not been the same person after thrashing United, and uh, Konate is very injury prone. He can't play two games in a row in, uh, all the week. So, we'll but see. you're the best defense in the league. You've just conceded two, and you've scored okay. like so many. So please. <laughs> Let's I, not. I, let's not. Uh, you I, know, I don't mislead know anybody. I don't know who's the Liverpool fan at this point. It's me or you. But yeah, we'll see. <laughs> uh, what? Liverpool is my second team. Liverpool has always been my second team. He supports every team right now, <laughs> except for Arsenal. Watch Arsenal. Like, game. Watch. I think both every team. Biggest United supporter right yeah. now, to be very honest. Yeah. You all sound yeah. like you are on Indian national television representing your political party. The way you are cutting off each other. Man, no. Wow. Crazy. All right. Nation wants to know. Nation wants to know. 